Welcome to another GibbsCam version 14 video. Today we're going to show you how to do material only with a couple of parts. Here you can see I have my saw model here and I have three tools. My first tool is going to be three quarter inch just flat bottom end mill. Next tool three quarter inch bullnose end mill and a, another bullnose end mill quarter inch with a sixteenth inch radius on the corners and how I got the radius is for the end mills to match this part is just go to plugins solids inquiry make sure face selection is on click there and you can see quarter inch there click there and you can see that sixteenth of an inch end mill so my first process is going to be roughing process with that three quarter inch end mill and the top of the part is zero double click there I'll click this surface and that's minus 1.05 I'm just going to do it an eighth of an inch uh, passes here I'm going to click on use stock and I'm going to select my whole solid after I turn off face selection click on do it and there's my tool path let's run a simulation on it so you can see this is what I have so far uh, machined out I'm just going to clear this and put in a uh, contour with that three quarter inch bull nose end mill. Again, going to go down to the bottom here. Let's put a little bit of radius in there and we'll click on do it. And there I'll have basically a finish pass on here. So for our next process, we're going to cut out this pocket here, but we only want to cut where the material is left over from the previous tool. So I'm going to click on the face there, go to my coordinate system palette and CS palette. I'm going to make a new coordinate system and click here and there I have my plane perpendicular to that surface. Now I'm going to bring up a volume mill this time along with that quarter inch bull nose end mill. Make sure you choose the correct plane. Go back to volume mill. Let's get our depths. So this is where our material is, and a little bit of clearance there. And the depth right here, and we'll just let it do it at uh, uh, quarter inch steps will be just fine. I'm going to use use stock and material only so it looks at the previous stock. Now I'm going to turn face selection on and make sure I just select the faces I want it to cut because I don't want it to cut beyond here. Uh, because there is material there, but I just want it to stay inside this uh, area here. Click on do it. And let's run the simulation. And you can see it only cut where material was left over from the previous tools. So that's one example of how to do uh, material only with this type of part. Now we're going to switch over to another part and show you how to do that one. So here we have our next part. What we want to do here is we're going to drill a very large hole through here and then we only want to cut where material is left over for the, uh, from the drill. I have a two inch drill, good size drill, and if I run simulation, you're going to see, I'm just going to, uh, sorry, let me highlight the tool. And we have our two inch hole in here. So the next thing we want to do is of course pocket it out, but we don't want to cut air around where the hole was. So I'm going to bring up again, volume mill again, put in my depths here that I want to go, the steps I want to do, any stock I want to leave, etc. But I want to use use stock material only. So if I do that and I click on the tool path, we'll just redo it here. You can see I have my toolpath here. So let's run machine simulation. There's the hole. I'm going to turn this off now. Let's rewind it. And now you can see the volume mill is only using material only. To cut where material is left over from the drill. Speed it up a little bit. As you can see, material only works very well. 
Thank you for watching.